things that we got to, we have to clean up as um, far as uh, missed tackles, uh, substitution errors, um, and, and, and things like that. Um, so um, we will get those things cleaned up, and, uh, and we're moving on, looking forward to starting Big Ten play, but we still have all our, all our goals in front of us. So that's, that's our mindset right now. Age 713 yards, that's the most a Michigan State team has ever given up. Wow. What was it that Washington was doing that you couldn't deal with? Um, first of all, give them credit. They're a good football team. Um, I didn't realize that. I'll never forget that, though. Um, first time being a head coach in a game, and I remember all of this. I promise you, I remember every single uh, bit of it. Um, but they're good. They're, they, they, they're the quarterback and the receivers and the, and the OC are. You can tell like they have a real good understanding of that offense. They know where to be. They know they trust each other. Uh, the receivers have great hands. They they go up and get the ball. They they the strong hands, and uh, quarterback good player knows knows where to go with the ball. They they've probably seen all kind of different schemes over the over the years. So they 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 vibe well together. And uh, and credit to them, uh, they 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 did it. And because we definitely went to uh, into the game thinking, hey, this is what we have to do. We thought we had a well uh, a plan, a, a well oiled plan, but um, not not good enough. Hi, Arlen. Um, everyone acknowledges that today is a big day. Earlier this week, you did acknowledge your faith. How does your faith play a role in this, and how do you impart that onto your players during today's experience? Uh, that's a good question. Um, my, my faith is. Uh, should be never waver, and, it's, and it isn't. Um, out there a couple of times, almost, 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 but, um, you know, that's never going to change. You, you, you go up and down. Your faith, if you truly into the word like, like I am, and I say that and I profess that I am, there are ups and downs. There's, there's the valleys you hit, all right, as well as the mountaintops. So, you know, this is a valley moment. This is a valley moment. And the good thing about it is you can always come back from valley moments if you truly believe and, and, and trust and, and, um, and, and then start to work on the things that need to be worked on. And so valley moment right now, but we'll, we'll get back up to the mountain. Hey, Arlen, for all of the, you know, the turmoil this week, uh, what, you know, the buildup to this game, you come out, everybody's, you know, obviously a crowd that's very supportive of you. When you go in the locker room down 35 to nothing, you know, what's the, what do you tell the team? What's the attitude? And I guess how do you think they handled, now looking back on this whole week, all that was put on their plate? And you know, for you personally, obviously. Right. As well. when, I, when I came in at, at halftime, because I'm always trying to put a positive twist on something. I mean, you, you can't just, just lose your mind and then, you know, then they go further in the dumps. So you try to put a pause, some type of positive spin on. So I just say, one play at a time, six seconds of play. Keep chopping. That's what that's what I said to them. Uh, one play at a time. Just don't try to get it all back at once. Just one play at one play at a time. Six seconds of play. Keep chopping and say that to each other over and over and over. And that's all we could do at that point. And uh, and that's what we tried to come back out and do in the second half, but still not really. And so um, again, I have to be better. I will be better, and the team will be better uh, coming this uh, going into the Big Ten season. Uh, I think 536 passing yards allowed in particular from, from the secondary and, and the pride that's there. What, what do you think needs to change and be fixed with that? Because there have been a, lot of number, a number of games the last few years like that. And I, I guess, you know, moving forward and looking at that guy in the other room, what did Penix, how good is it to not have to worry about seeing him again? Uh, so it's definitely real good. I mean, he's a guy that's uh, in, the, in the Heisman Trophy candidacy right now. Um, you know, there are a few things that we can change up pro probably on, on uh, uh, how we scheme things up. We have the defense to do it. It's just a matter of what we want to call and, and play. And we thought we had the right thing, things uh, dialed up for this week, and, uh, and apparently they weren't. So um, we'll, we'll tweak some things. And try to you know help us to not give up those type of yards again ever, and uh, and and so um, I'm I'm I am, I am actually uh, ready to to focus in on Maryland so much so that just watch them tonight and then start focusing on those guys and uh, and, and and so we can be better. 
Harlan, right here. I'm just wondering what you saw and heard uh, from your staff as well about offensively. It seemed like Noah was maybe under more pressure lately than we've seen uh, the past couple of games, and the run game just wasn't able to get going as well. well your overall takeaways on that side? Right. Um, exactly. We couldn't. We couldn't. You know, really, what they say, stay on schedule. Uh, you want to run the ball or whatever your first down pass would be. To, you know, just to keep you on schedule. If you, you you're not on schedule, if you can't get the the three yards or what have you on first down, now you're off schedule. They got kept getting us off schedule, and uh, and caused us problems when we got off schedule. Uh, again, very good, very good team. Um, uh, but it's a good experience to just to see what top ten teams look like right now for our team. So they see oh, that was a, okay. I, we see what a top ten team look, looks like, and uh, and so now we know what we have to do to start uh, preparing if if, if we want to be that type of team or or better. We have to start preparing like that moving forward. We know we've seen it. No disrespect to Richmond and Central, but that was a different group as everybody saw out there, and our guys saw it themselves. So they they. I, I, spoke with them they were like hey man we, we got to be better they even were saying it after i spoke with them okay we there are things that we have to do in there and you heard leaders stepping up everybody be somewhere be here blah 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 tomorrow everybody da 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 this week and so um that that was good to see harlan over here now that you've been through it sort of in hindsight can you speak to what this week was like for you and this team and and how disruptive and difficult it wasn't any challenges is a first week head coach in week three of a season that you sort of ran into that you, you now you couldn't have known about until you're actually in that role well and, and any I think you have challenges anytime uh, Graham on when you start something new that you haven't done so not not so much so that it, it was week three it could have been week one I got hired back in January or whatever there were there were things um, that I just hadn't that didn't have to deal with, you know. I didn't have to do a press conference, you know, uh, during the week when I was when I was just defensive back coach or second secondary coach or what have you. And so um, there were a lot of different things that that came about, but it's going to all settle down this week. I know that, and uh, and we'll get back. I got some things in my mind that I want to do uh, as far as me coaching. Uh, and try to get a normal, normalize us again. Whereas this past week we were off kilter a little bit, and, and but but we still got good enough coaches to, to get it done. But I'm gonna get myself back like I need to be doing and helping, and, uh, and I think that that'll be better for the team as well. Coach, you were uh, to follow up what Graham said. You were thrown into the situation. You're now the the head coach. After a game like tonight. How do you galvanize this team, get them back together, and how do you put the imprint that this is now your team? Um, one, one is like I, was, I told him in there. Okay, look, man, no more penalties like this. You know, we can't be having those type of penalties, substitution errors, missed tackles, and things like that. We can't shoot ourselves in the foot. We can't beat ourselves. And so I, I told him, I said, you know, as as the leader, as the number one leader here. Um, I have to be better, and I will be better. And how I'll do that is kind of like what I was just saying, the ground. You know, this past week, I, I, I had a lot of time away from just the football aspect, trying to connect with the guys more. And I still got to finish up some of those guys. But uh, I'm, I'm going to try to get back to what I was doing and normalize us a little bit and for the young men as well. Uh, and that way, everybody just we're back to normal roles a little bit, if I say, can say that. And, uh, and we can just do what we have to do. So, um, you know, when, when that happens, and I think it'll be better for us. And it, we are a week away from what happened. So uh, those guys are – that's out their system. We played a game, played a really great team. And so I think they're ready to go and understanding that, hey, all our goals are still in front of us. So that's a good thing. Uh, uh, coach, uh, Darius Snow is finally back from uh, this, that injury. Uh, how excited are you to have him back for that defense, and what do you think he's going to be adding to that unit going forward? I'm very defense? excited that he's back. I love me some Darius Snow. Mr. Snow Flurry is what I call him. But he's he's a um, very, very, very smart football player, and he's tough and a good tackler. And so he was so excited when he got cleared 
last week, you run around telling everybody, I'm cleared, I'm cleared. He came up busting our defensive staff room. I'm cleared, I'm cleared, I can play. And so really, really happy for him because he busted his butt to come, be able to get back. Because there was at one time saying he, he wouldn't be able to get back till midseason. And so he really, really busted his butt, and he's, he's going to help us. Harlan, I, real quick, do you have an update on Ty Neal? Uh, obviously, you know, tough. I didn't. When I went in, I just started to talk to the players, and then I, I pretty much came over here, okay. so I didn't get an update. Okay. Yep. I was wondering with, with uh, Jaron and um, Berger out, you know, there's a lot, and, and even Martinez, that's a lot, you know, to ask a, a shorthanded backfield to manage, and, and, you know, with Nathan taking the care. I guess well, how much did that, the lack of depth kind of, do you think, affect your performance in the run game? Well, you know, we. <laughs> Every guy that would come here, including myself, going to say there's no such, t there's no excuses. So uh, even those guys would say that there's no excuses. We got to just get it done and find a way to get it done. We we had the guys that we had, uh, and so we got to perform. That's, it's just that simple. It really is. Chris, last one. Uh, along those lines, uh, Tunmiche and, and Ken, we didn't see them get hurt last week. Um, they, what is their status with the program? They'll, they, they'll be back this week. They were just out this week. They were just out. We just had them out this week, but they'll, they'll be back. And have you had anybody with the situation that's happened that has approached you to say, we want to shut it down up say to again, now? I'm sorry. Has anybody said they want to shut it down and not play anymore the rest of the year with the uncertainty with the coaching situation? Uh, nobody has said that. Not, not one guy. No, not one guy has said that. So um, that's a good thing. And, and hopefully uh, – these guys won't do that. You know, they'll they'll look at hey, let's let's finish this thing out. You never want to be a quitter. You know what I mean? So hopefully everybody will push through and and see what's really in front of us. Like we said, all our goals are still in front of us. And so let's go attack the Big Ten season. All right. Thank you, All right. Yes.